today i am going to discuss aniline to sulfonylic acid in this lesson we are going to learn sulfur trioxide acts as an electrophile reaction to produce sulfonylic acid from aniline mechanism of the reaction and finally sulfonylic acid forms deuterium so let's go to the detail the very first point is sulfur trioxide acts as an electrophile though it is a neutral compound let's see why it is electrophile a structure of formula of sulfur trioxide is this in sulfur trioxide sulfur is linked up with three highly electronegative atoms oxygen atoms electronegativity of oxygen is 3.5 but electronegativity of sulfur is 2.5 because of the high difference in electronegativity between sulfur and oxygen covalently bonded electrons move towards oxygen like this and as a result partial negative charge develops over oxygen here partial negative charge here partial negative charge at the same time sulfur gets partially positive in charge because of the three oxygen atoms highly electronegative oxygen atoms around sulfur electron deficiency is created because of the electron deficiency around sulfur sulfur trioxide acts as an electrophile neutral electrophile let's move on to the next point now the point is reaction to produce sulfonylic acid from aniline let's write the reaction this is aniline or amino benzene this is also called phenyl amine which is oily liquid here amino group is a kind of electron donating group amino group increases electron density at ortho positions and at para position that is amino group ortho para directing group towards electrophile when aniline is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid and the reaction is heated at 180 degree celsius temperature then sulfur trioxide produced from sulfuric acid which acts as electrophile sulfur trioxide attacks ortho position and para position to form these compounds sulfur trioxide sulfur trioxide which in turn turns to sulfonic acid group now this is ortho amino benzene sulfonic acid or two amino benzene sulfonic acid another compound is when sulfur trioxide attacks para position then we get this compound sulfur trioxide which in turn turns into sulfonic acid group this is para amino benzene sulfonic acid or pho amino benzene sulfonic acid and water is formed as by product these compounds are formed from this reaction that is when aniline is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid at 180 to 200 degrees celsius temperature but here when sulfur trioxide attacks ortho position 
then there is created steric hindrance because of the high steric hindrance it is formed but less in amount this is less than 1% percent. percentage of 2 amino benzene sulfonic acid is extremely small which is negligible but in this case when sulfur trioxide attacks para position then no steric hindrance that is why it is formed around 99 percent so ortho amino benzene sulfonic acid which is formed in extremely small amount this is less than one percent because of the steric hindrance but para amino benzene sulfonic acid is formed in large quantities this is more than 99 percent as this is small in amount percentage of this compound is extremely low that is why it is taken out of consideration so simply we can say that when aniline is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid at 180 to 200 degrees Celsius temperature then 4 amino benzene sulfonic acid is formed which is known as sulfonylic acid which is also called para amino benzene sulfonic acid this is the reaction by which sulfonylic acid is produced from aniline let's see mechanism of the reaction now mechanism of the reaction production of sulfonylic acid from aniline let's see step by step step one sulfuric acid forms hydronium ion sulfur trioxide and bisulfate ion sulfur trioxide which acts as an electrophile this reaction occurs in this way oxygen sulfur oxygen hydrogen here hydrogen again hydrogen oxygen sulfur oxygen here oxygen here hydrogen when this is heated then from this sulfuric acid water is formed and from this sulfuric acid this hydrogen gets freed as proton that combines with water to form hydronium ion plus here the remaining part is sulfur trioxide in this molecule the remaining part is bisulfate ion this is the way by which sulfur trioxide electrophile is formed from sulfuric acid step 2 is step 2 aniline amino group is ortho para directing group and here electrophile is sulfur trioxide that attacks para position easily but sulfur trioxide cannot attack ortho position because of the steric hindrance now we get this compound sulfur trioxide here aniline acts as electron donor sulfur trioxide acts as electron acceptor after accepting electrons sulfur trioxide gets negative in charge benzene ring gets 
positive in charge which is called sigma complex here a hydrogen present to vanish this positive charge covalently bonded electrons of carbon hydrogen bond move towards benzene ring and then this is obtained here negative charge this hydrogen gets freed as proton now this compound receives one proton from hydronium ion to get this compound so3 h negative charge which receives one proton from hydronium ion to form this compound 4 amino benzene sulfonic acid or para amino benzene sulfonic acid which is also called sulfonylic acid and here water is formed as by product this is the mechanism of the reaction by which sulfuric acid reacting with aniline sulfonylic acid is formed now let's move on to the next point now the point is jute ion of sulfonylic acid let's see jute ion of sulfonylic acid this is sulfonylic acid let's see a structural formula of this compound in aqueous solution sulfonylic acid the oh group of sulfonylic acid undergoes heterolytic fission and this hydrogen gets freed as proton in aqueous solution again this group amino group nitrogen contains one pair of electrons with the one pair of electrons nitrogen accepts this proton through coordinate covalent bond and then this is obtained nh3 here plus nitrogen of amino group accepted this proton that is why nh3 this plus transferred to nitrogen here benzene ring this is s o 3 minus oxygen oxygen here oxygen this is jute ion of sulfonylic acid the ion with separate positively and negatively charged groups is known as jute ion so here this is jute ion of sulfonylic acid in this case equilibrium exists between sulfonylic acid and its jute ion the ion with positively and negatively charged groups is known as jute ion this is all about sulfonylic acid from aniline now today thank you very much